here we go. Google hit a low today of 761. They're going to report their quarterly earnings report momentarily. So we're going to be looking for a big knee-jerk reaction. ISRG sold all the way down to 488. It reports momentarily. You're going to see big knee-jerk reactions, MMTs, and prices. Chipotle Mexican Grill, 328.70. All of which are reporting earnings. Let us not forget that IBM will be reporting Big Blue. We have Big Blue right here in the video. So IBM, CMG, once again, Intuitive Surgical. Um, one of the things that we are going to be watching is that Google's in the center right here, MMTs. And Google had a big sell down going into the quarter. So we'll probably see a big pop to the upside or a big drop where they're viable. You can see that we're down here to buy at 725. 725. Here we are at 771 on the ask. I don't have a report yet. CMG is 329 over here. ISRG. Well... The bid is 481. IBM hasn't done anything. All eyes on Google. Here we go. That Chipotle Mexican Grill. Hey, it's rocking up here to 362. Uh, Chipotle Mexican Grill. There's a lot of people short this name and they're going to wake up with a big headache. But there's the top end at 362 there on that bid. Prince went off right here at 362 on Chipotle Mexican Grill. So, Chipotle, CMG, had a low today of 328.50. That's the knee jerk there on Chipotle Mexican Grill. I will tell some of my other traders in different groups there, hey, a good short's going to be 370 if it gets up there. It is a big pop right now on Chipotle Mexican Grill. Chipotle Mexican Grill. We got Google out of bid. It hasn't reported yet. Neither has ISRG. I'll go over some of the earnings later. Right now, we're just getting some knee-jerk reaction. And this one is on Chipotle Mexican Grill. Short sellers up here at 362. Your bids are 348. Okay. That is what we call a knee-jerk reaction to an earnings report. That's what this is about so that the new MMTs can see it. You can see right here that we're flat. We haven't got a headline number on... Um, Google yet nor have we got an earnings release yet on ISRG here we go MMTs we haven't got the report on Google but look at IBM drop down to 199 look at that the opening bell today on IBM was $210 MMTs and once again it's down here at $200 okay um, Let's take a look at those. It's at 201. It's getting a little bit of a bounce. We'll go over the earnings. What this video is about for my new MMTs is to see how an earnings release can take a stock down or rock a stock up like it did on CMG. So now we're going to be waiting on Google and see what Google does. So there is that reaction and Big Blue is catching a bid off the bottom. ISRG has got a bid now of 515 by 520. I don't see any prints going off. I did see some prints going off in ISRG at 505. So once again, the low was 488 on ISRG. So we'll go over each one of the reports. The only knee jerk that we haven't got in here is Google. Here we go. We do have an ISRG print. It had a low of 488 and it's printing 509.98 right now. 503 it just printed. Look at that big difference. 500's printed over here. So what I want people to understand is that the low was 488. And I do not have a go. Uh oh, Google's moving higher. It's 780. There's a pop on Google. Here's a pop on Google MMTs. Look at it. They're popping it the same $20 back up there. Remember, it closed at $782. Look at here. The earnings were just now released. I don't have a number, but once again, MMTs. We're going to come back to each one of these individually. You can see, though, that 
the earnings on CMG are popping. This Google is popping back up. They dropped it to 761 on the day. There it is, 797. It's ripping. It's ripping. Go ahead and cancel that order, Brian Plain. Here on CMG, well, it's back down to our ISRG is back down to 494. Big blue, it didn't make it. So you got a lot of headwind, and this particular video is to let people know that not everyone would be qualified to trade these kind of movements in after hours, but we're experts at it. Look at here, we're coming back down. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Google was way up there. Now it's at 776. Once again, MMTs, look at over here, ISRG at 490. We're still up at 351 on CMG. Look at Big Blue. All four of these companies are all headline releases in after hours and you have to know how to trade the volatility we're back to 791 on Google so that's that and and Google came in at 11.8 versus 10.69 revs are 11.01 billion versus 11.10 so they're a little bit light on the rev but you can see that the stock is all over the map remember that the close yesterday was 782.56 and they dropped it down to 761 going into the report. So we're going to have to revisit these. I just want people to see the volatility. There's a Chipotle Mexican Grill. The low was 328. So in order to trade these things in after hours, it would take you a considerable amount of training. These prices move very quickly based on the headlines. We teach you in depth, though. They do have enough volume. They're not illiquid. But once again, these are the knee-jerk reactions and how earnings uh, get it. Chipotle Mexican Grill, right up here at 351. Look at here. We're back to 490 over here. That ISRG that just had popped up to 505. Look at that volatility. Look at that volatility. It's to be pointed out to you, MMT. Look at the volatility in IBM coming down toward the lows. These are earnings knee-jerk reaction on headline numbers. The following is going to happen. They're going to give an earnings report, a conference call, in an hour. This is the first round of that knee-jerk reaction. Now we have Google at 790 again. It's all over the map. Now, when they get on the conference call, that could make all of these prices go down or up. But that happens usually in about one hour from now. What I will do is say that we will go through them individually. This particular video is to see the basket of what the headlines would do in after hours and how these quarterly reports work. And it's very, very important to understand that these things get all over the place. We were just at, look at here. Now Google's back at 783. I only want to inform my new MMTs that in after hours, we will look for great opportunities. But you got to let the volatility play. Look at here, CMG. Uh, is still up on the highs. ISRG is 483 on the bid. So it was just at 505 over here when they were, you know, now prints have only printed 494, but look at the bid. Look at the bid. It's 481, 483. Whoa. Look at these bids right here. Look at the bid now spread right here. So that's what these knee jerk reactions. It's printing 494. Don't get me wrong. So there's somebody that, these are late prints. See, 491's just printed, 490's. That's on ISRG. Remember, it popped up to 505, as high as 515. Here, Google, again, it's all over the map. It's flat. IBM's doing nothing. The best one out of the four right now is Chipotle Mexican Grill. So tomorrow and moving forward we'll look at how to trade this bull right here it's back up toward the ranges before falling down to 328 now and we're going to be able to trade the Google using the calls tomorrow so when they bring it back down we know that Google is where it's going right now in after hours I will come back and do another video on the conference calls that
that will take place. There are one-hour conference calls, and the analysts will ask them questions. Here is Google back up to 790. It's all over the map here in After Hours. Everyone has seen that. The one that's really getting hammered, and we'll do it individually, is the IBM. What a big drop, 210. That is a big drop for that blue chip, I can tell you, my friends. And look at over here. It's 485. They're printing 489 on ISRG. It had popped up. They're bringing it right back below the low of the day now. So this is the volatility. You will be trained on how to work volatility. You will be trained in the after hours earnings specifically how to correctly read the headline release. The release is the headline is that knee jerk reaction in every one of these price levels. Once again, this goes under the category with the new MMTs. It is the date of 418 of 2013. The main topic is that prices the volatility in prices in the after hours on quarterly releases. What does those headlines do? They do a lot. And you got to be trained on what that really means. That means all the pros, all the cons, all the gimmicks that go involved in these after hours. It's not easy for an individual to keep up with these kind of prices moving on these headlines. Where we will really find out the truth will be that when each one of them give their conference calls in after hours, we're going to find out, and that's going to be in about another hour.